Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. We're gonna to be talking about the latest Lucid LCID stock. We're also gonna be talking about the Mullen, M-U-L-N stock as well, as we are starting to get some pretty big news out there that might be of interest if you are a stockholder or are thinking about putting in a position for either of these two electric vehicle companies as I do think that the earnings report for Lucid is coming out. Will it be good? Will it be bad? We are going to be discussing this. And Mullen Automotive has had a pretty tough uh, few weeks. Will we start getting some upward trends? I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Let's get started. Before we get into this video, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash the subscribe button, notification bell, hit all, share this page with your family, friends, coworkers, that next door neighbor, and down below, don't forget to get your free stocks. Now, without further ado, let's first touch on Lucid Motors. So Lucid will have its earnings call tomorrow on May 5th, uh, which will be its first earnings call for Q1 of 2022. I do suspect that this stock right now is trading right around $19.50. I do think that we will have some downward pressure after the earnings call. I don't think that it will be any much better than the last earnings call, which we did hear that Lucid was having a lot of downward forces, a lot of supply chain issues. I don't think that that has been corrected. We do know that they are starting to work on the Grand Touring version, which is the next step down uh, from the Lucid Air Dream. However, uh, their production volume, I don't think is quite there yet. I don't think that they are mass producing. What will be a big sign is, are they gonna decrease the amount of expected vehicles to be produced for this year, 2022? They have already decreased their production volume from 20,000 uh, until about 12 to 14,000, I do suspect that we could have even bigger reduction if we do, again, more downward pressure on this stock. But right now, I don't foresee anything that the supply chain is easing up. I actually think it's getting more constricted, but we'll definitely have to see. So I do suspect that we will not have uh, the earnings report be good results. I do think that they will actually miss a lot of their expected values. Um, this will bring the stock down even more, again, in my opinion, in the short term. Now, if you look more mid to long term, I do think that this stock has incredible potential and it is a huge buy for me anywhere in the range of $15 to twenty dollars stock price so right now we are trading at 1950 we have tested as low as 17 dollars and 50 cents in the past few days so incredible opportunities to get this stock up and running uh once we start get that bull market uh with the lucid lcid stock so again i don't think that these earnings will be good i do think that we will have a sell-off on after hours Thursday and on Friday. Again, these are just my assumptions based on how the environmental situation is with new EV startup companies, the cost of raw materials to make batteries, and also the continued supply chain issues. Again, I do not think that Lucid will have a big production number. Now, on the flip side, I do think that they will have some very good expectations and projections into the future. We have heard just recently the Saudi Arabian deal uh, that they are going to be purchasing at least 50,000 electric Lucid Air vehicles in the coming few years with a potential to add even 50,000 more for a total of 100,000 electric vehicles. That will be a huge revenue moving forward up to $7 billion in revenues, incredible opportunities and growth in this company. I do also think that their demand, their reservation number will go up. Last time we heard uh, back in February, they were at roughly 25,000 reservations. I do suspect that this will be even higher as they are opening in other markets. Just most recently, they have opened up a studio in Munich, Germany. So we are starting to see that they are going international. But again, that production is not there yet. And the biggest hurdle, the Achilles heel, is the supply chain issue, which will ease up with time. 
that will require some patience. But in the short term, I do suspect that we will still have some downward pressure, some lower cost, lower share price. Um, again, ranging from $15 to $20 is a great deal. Again, in my opinion only, but always do your own due diligence. Always do your own research. Secondly, I did want to talk about Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Um, it has been quite a bit of a downward pressure on the stock. We have heard some credibility issues from this company, um, especially since they had the CEO talking about the battery, uh, the technology that they have. So now battery innovation will be actually doing a conducting a test um, to see how Mullen's solid state battery is. Mullen does claim that it is having a 700, no, a 600 mile range um, on one single charge. It is claiming that it has super fast speeds of charging about 300 miles in 18 minutes. So both of these would actually be a lot better number than the Lucid Air Dream Edition that does have the best longest range out of any electric vehicle on the market right now. Um, so we'll see if this the battery inner uh, the battery innovation company will BIC is the name of it. Uh, will actually be doing that test. The results should be coming out. This should be a good catalyst for this company moving forward. We also have heard from Mullen Automotive that they are also applying for a loan um, through the federal government to get its electric van production going. So um, one of the big things about this company is that they are low on cash. And so they are requesting a loan to build that electric van. Um, the last time we heard from the CEO, he did an interview with Benzenga. I do have it linked um, in one of my videos below. Um, so you can definitely check the full interview out. But he did say that sometime this quarter, the Q2, uh, he will be announcing a huge purchase order for a Fortune 500 company. We have not heard who this company is, how big the purchase order of the electric delivery vans will be. Um, but again, this will be another potential big catalyst. And so it is some good news that they are looking for assistance through the federal government to raise more money to build their electric delivery van. And so again, this could be potential catalyst in the future, but uh, they are running very tight on their uh, their monies. So big things to look forward to, but I hope that you did like this video. I hope that you do have a great Wednesday and uh, we can't wait to talk to you on the next one. If you did like this video, give me the big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash the subscribe button. We'd love to have you a part of the channel. Hit my notification bell. Hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Share this page with your family, friends, coworkers, that next door neighbor, so we can continue to grow the channel. We're getting so close to 15,000. And a Friday of this week marks my one year anniversary. So I'll try to do a special video on that this weekend um, just to give you thanks and show you the progress that we have had on this channel. But I greatly appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day. And I cannot wait to talk to you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.